Large parts of Britain have had what's thought to be their coldest weather for four years. Bitterly cold winds have produced temperatures well below freezing. The weather, which has been brought about by cold air coming from central Russia, is forecast to last for some time. The morale went from up here to inches off the floor in a, in a 12 month. And it's, uh, it's a long way back. And they're not getting there at all. Why is that? Because they don't listen to the men. They seem, they seem hell bent on making it a service that's going to be easily sold off, that looks good to the private sector. And to do that, the men's uh, conditions and things are being eroded. I mean, we've been fighting for shorter hours, not longer hours, and yet they're proposing a contract week of 46 hours including Sundays, short turnarounds, things like that. that. That's going backwards, not forwards. I've got a family at home, I want to spend more time with my family, not at work. Sundays has always been traditionally my day, and I reserve the right to sell them any time that I should spend at home, at a premium, and I reserve the right to say, no, I don't wish to work weekends and things like that. You know? And at the minute, I've got that right. And if I want to sell them at an enhanced rate, I can do. But under the new conditions, I won't have that right. Sundays will become part of the normal working week, and I can't get on with that. If anybody had ever told me I would have stayed on railway for 21 years, I would have laughed at them. Started as a 17-year-old cabin lad. It's making entries in train register. Stayed all this time, eh? Must be good then. Well, I enjoy it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it. I'll have the chicken. Thank you, Alice. Sir. Will it be done, sir? No. Sir? Will it be done, sir? Yes, please. I've everything but the pork shot, so it's all done, I'm afraid. Okay, well, I'll have the next one. Tony, I'll have the next one. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'll just have the salmon. Just the salmon, sir, okay. Like some ice, sir. Please. I want to know why the train can't issue uh, Valium to its regular customers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just make sure it's you. <laughs> Thanks. So Thank you. Her. Have you had a nice day? Thank you very much. Uh, not had a very good day today. What the, it's the, um, it's the recession. Uh, is, is unfortunately catching up with us at the moment and uh, been seriously affected today. You know, hopefully we'll pull through. I'm optimistic. I've got through today anyway, <laughs> which was probably one of the most main crises I'll have. Actually, very few people would have dealt with a day like today because it would have just been too much to cope with. She's my hero. I got on the train and it wasn't announced until after we were on the train, just before it left. So I went down and spoke to a man as I was standing in the door and he was standing outside the door and he waffled on about something. And then the door shut and I had three big bags on so I couldn't hop off. Well, it was advertised before you got on the train? I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know because uh, the queue was uh, outside and I just saw someone in the queue if that was the train for Leeds. Yeah, uh, I really didn't know. Yeah, but on board it said you could use savers and super savers on this train. On board where? On, on the board at King's Cross. No, it didn't because I saw it before oh, we left. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's, yeah. oh, it says outward portions and return portions, super yeah. saver says no, 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 no to all destinations. And it says yes in black letters, the others are in red. But I'm afraid it I really yes, didn't see there. that. And I got this train before, but I had a full ticket, you see, so I, I, I just didn't think. And I did try and get off, but I just didn't have time. I tried to find out if I was OK or not. Well, you, you have to pay the excess on the train.
British Rail is grossly underfunded. I actually feel very strongly that the system breaks down. There's no slack in the system. They don't have the funding to be able to have the spare rolling stock so that if there is a breakdown, they can immediately replace it. So there are delays and passengers naturally get annoyed. But I don't think they should be annoyed with British Rail necessarily. They should be annoyed with a government that won't give a commitment to properly funding and subsidising a public service. Third day is it always tired on your third day. Tomorrow on Friday it makes it easier. Friday's the quite ends off. We've been quite busy this week. I think I think everybody's forgotten about the recession. So we've had quite a busy week. How many hours today do you have? Uh start, start about half, start at five o'clock, book on five o'clock and we'll finish well tonight we've run we're running an hour and a, an hour and something late, so about 16 hours by the time we finish today. So, but usually 14, and, and if things go right, 14 and a half hours a day. In the morning, I do breakfast. 80 breakfasts this morning. We've. Uh, We've less than an hour really to serve that because uh, Eric and Sally's got to get their bills on. So you've 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 80 breakfast to knock out in. You, you've got to have it done for, within half an hour, three quarters of an hour. I just get lost in it. Sorry? Did you sign my card? What a strange thing, mate. For what, sir? Um, otherwise I'll be arrested. If it's not, um, I don't mind it back at a certain time, that's all. Oh, I see, yeah. Certainly. Otherwise, uh, you know. Not good, eh? Struggling a little bit. A lot of sleep, yeah. Will they get up? Yeah, just bit at a time, bit at a time, until he gets to the top. Once he gets the engine all the top, he'll be sound. Last night, they was asking about what effect the inclement weather would have, and they was assured that it would have no effect whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, that's proved not to be the case. The trains were all delayed initially out of London, some problem with the overhead lines. Uh, not when I left, no. But it's pretty bad here. Well, it's hard to tell out there, it's pitch dark. But it's obviously some gradient. It's from Mr Pearson who is meeting me at Bradford. Somebody could just explain that we're being delayed and that I will arrive there eventually. I actually had a birthday party to go to at 8 o'clock, so it's the kiss of death, is that any arrangements like that? The kiss of death. Once again, I can only apologise for the very late arrival of your service and for the fact that my estimated arrival times were a little wide of the mark. Passengers with connections at Leeds should consult platform staff and television screens. Passengers leaving the train, please ensure you have your luggage and personal belongings with you. Once again, on behalf of Intercity, I can only apologise for the late arrival and the inconvenience that this will cause. Leeds next stop. All change, please. It's Technum's also as long to get from Wakefield as it's took to get up to Wakefield. <laughs> Marvellous, eh? Thank you, gents.